All right, without further ado, like it's time to media. watch this. Which is a platform built on gaming. <gasps> Doris! Dory. But it's home to more, much more. Ooh. Oh, that's... Now, remember, she, she wanted it crisp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give it a try. Ooh, this got... <laughs> and now, the biggest streamer on Twitch isn't known primarily for playing video games at all, although he does sometimes try. Who was that the was killer? Who was the killer? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, it was so Moxie! Yeah. Is that why? Is that why I sent Moxie for three f***ing rounds? Hassan Piker, also known by his channel name Hasanabi, has changed Twitch forever. Because in 2020, the streamer with the most subs is political. No, there is no tolerance to the intolerant mother if you expected me to be one of these like i need to do civility oh no like if you thought i was gonna be one of those people well guess what i'm not bitch i'm here to f make fun of republicans dude all day every goddamn day and politics isn't a side effect of some other career it's the main draw it's why hundreds of thousands of people tuned in to watch him on election night we are going to find out Who's gonna be the president? Who, who out of the two geriatric no, the assholes is, I mean, you can have is going to lead this country to our inevitable demise? And whether you agree with his own political views or not, it sure looks like the future of Twitch isn't just about games. Real Americans don't celebrate losers. Pack your bags, bucko. You lost. It's also about government. This is really good. I can't, I'm assuming that this frustrated a lot of people because like, I am not a, no, you can take it. Yeah, it's a nitro. Do you want it? Do you want that? Okay, good. My brother, uh, my brother's here. Um, yeah, these are really good clips too. 1K dislikes. Oh my Lord. Okay. Hassan Piker was born in the state of New Jersey, but spent much of his childhood in Istanbul, the capital Three of Turkey. Even time. so, as That's he told the, the H3 podcast, he was obsessed with the country where he was born. I, I read English books when I was growing up. I was like, I was a weeb for a- Wait, Ankara is the capital of Turkey, and I lived in both Istanbul and Ankara. America, okay? I was an <laughs> America boo. <laughs> like that's part of the reason why it was so easy for me to assimilate to the culture here uh, in the past 10 years that I've been here, 11 years that I've been here now, because I was just always obsessed with American culture. Hassan returned to the United States and attended Miami University before transferring to Rutgers. I went to University of Miami, not Miami University. They got the right graphic, but they said Miami University, which is in Ohio and eventually graduating cum laude with a dual major in political science and communications. And while he was still there, he interned at his uncle Cenk Uger's workplace, the Young Turks. What's going on guys? This is a Bitsy or a BTS or behind the scenes with Hassan Piker, AKA Woke Bay. The YouTube show was known for progressive news and opinions, but when Hassan started there, he wasn't in front of the camera. Eventually, though, he convinced them to let him try his hand at hosting his own segment as part of TYT's The Breakdown. The format was simple. Hassan got in front of the camera and talked about his views on political issues, but it eventually became a bit more adversarial with Hassan criticizing. So the thing that's different, the thing that was uh, not to, I mean, this is a video about me, so I'm going to toot my own horn a little bit, Bro, so I, I apologize you your growth and for the masturbation. Talking about you makes me smile but, following since the beginning. But I will tell you this much. The thing that was different, what I did at the Young Turks that was not the same as what the Young Turks was doing was uh, I, I wanted to make pre-scripted, green Thank screen, snackable, bite-sized uh, bits of information and videos. And TYT was not doing that at all. They didn't even have a system set in place for that at all. I had to build it myself. Like I, I literally um, repurposed the fucking supply closet and turned it into uh, a small studio. 
and uh, started writing my own scripts and like filming them myself. And, and that's how we, that's how we arrived at the breakdown that you uh, watched. And, and some of you know me from originally. Rising popular figures on the right. Better watch out, Tanya. You got fired in a blaze of shame from the last place after pulling the same shit. Uh-oh, have I already offended you? You gotta admire someone who builds an entire career around getting offended and then going, hold on, hold on, I gotta go record this. It's like you've built this reactionary, riffraff style character and now you're just stuck with this shtick and before you know it, you're gonna be looking like you're Kellyanne Conway at the age of 35 and your career will still be rehashing old racist conservative tropes. And as he confronted issues, he was getting noticed, earning the moniker Woke Bay. Coming down the carpet is somebody that Instagram goes crazy over. His name is Woke Bay. First of all, uh, thank you for uh, appreciating the latest fits I've been throwing of out course. on Instagram You've because every time people make fun of me, I'm like, I got the queer eye approval, bitch. <laughs> Shut up. The other thing I was going to call you was a brogressive. Is that offensive? One year with I don't know. I don't really mind it. Obviously, I am a bro. He's a Turkish god. Okay, somebody clip me. Hassan, I want to be your friend. Let's hang out. There. Hassan's really cute. Okay, so I guess my first would be Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> Hassan spent several years with the Young Turks, but his own personal popularity was growing. He was a progressive public figure, but unlike many of the other hosts and contributors on TYT, he was young and relatively unfiltered. Some weird reason in America, it's so much easier to regulate women's choice than it is to regulate guns. I'm like looking around to see if I've jerked off to anyone, and I, I really haven't. Except for you, actually. <laughs> I have seen, I, I, I've seen one of your porns. In hindsight, it's unsurprising that Hassan would end up taking his talents to Twitch, but at first he mostly just played video games. And honestly, his takes were sometimes more compelling than the gameplay. Oh shit! Oh no! What the What about the difference in opinion, boys? What about the difference in your opinion, boys? <laughs> Bitch. In early 2018, when Hassan made the jump, many other content creators were already deep diving into political content. Chief among them was Stephen Destiny Bennell, a StarCraft pro turned Twitch personality. So I'm Destiny, and I try to make sure that when we talk about breaking news, we're not rattling off some dumbass bullshit that we have no idea what we're talking about. That's what I'm well, doing. Well, Destiny, what is this? Hey, and what I'm, is... I'm Nina, and I go through nice life not being a white piece of shit. Nice to meet you, Destiny. Don't ever f***ing address me like that again. When I got into debating like two years ago, my goal was just to like explore those arguments because it's really fun for me. And I saw that online, there were a lot of people that claimed to have good arguments that were making very bad arguments. And the first time they talked, things between Hassan and Destiny started off pretty well. For those of you who are on my side of the stream, Destiny's awesome. Uh, a couple of the, it was like some of my moderators, including Space, and also some of the fans like Ragbang were telling me that I should link up with this guy. And then I started watching his videos and they're, they're 160 viewers, dude. Excellent. I really like uh, what he's about. So I'm excited and I hope you guys get to know him a little bit better and you can enjoy his videos as well. Yeah, back Although when I- it didn't stay that way for long. Can you not answer this question? Privately? I said in yeah. certain contexts, it could be okay what to say What do you mean by privately. certain contexts? Not like you're reading it out of a dictionary, like, but in the for, context okay, of an offensive right, joke. I wasn't gonna do this, but like, um, I didn't really read the uh, logs that got leaked or whatever, but I have seen you say the N word <laughs> on the internet before. In the context that you use the N word when you're calling someone an R worded, uh, little F worded N word, that mm -hmm. is not an that is not an appropriate okay, so context we've, because so, that context okay, so, makes you look yep. like a terrible person. What about a male that's significantly smaller than me? Yeah, I already I already mentioned that. I wouldn't hurt. I wouldn't. Wow, they actually put a really good clip from that because the real clips from that uh, back and forth is always just the what a fucking liar, dude. And uh, there is a, a nice group smash. of individuals out there on the internet who literally make it seem like I agree with uh with destiny or something and uh constantly say that like oh it's so important to it's so important to fucking uh you know pin him down on a position uh, uh, very interesting that um oh that's coming too uh, i'm sure the what are wheezy little liar is coming but there are still so many people in in uh, a particular individual's audience that like literally say like oh son whispered into trihex's ear about how he should be offended by the fact that 
the person that he is associated with that he does a fucking podcast with was going around saying I say the n-word all the time and then wrote a fucking uh manifesto about it like like Triax personally could not come to terms with that on his own uh and needed a, a a white friend to tell him that that's racist I think yeah, I am a, a white boy on the internet, so this is my only understanding of how this shit works. Wouldn't hit a person who is significantly. If Destiny attacked me, if Destiny attacked me, no gun, just like straight up physical altercation. He tried to attack me. I probably wouldn't hit him back. And thankfully, that relationship, as dysfunctional as it might be, gave us one of the best Hassan moments. I'm not going to talk to a black person like Trihex and say, hey, the N-word, it's always black. What do you think black people? What a f***ing liar, dude. What a f***ing Weasley little liar, dude. What a f***ing Weasley little liar, dude. Holy shit, dude. Excuse me. Holy f***ing shit, control. dude. I apologize for that. Literally lying. Still lying to his audience. Can someone at least f***ing enlighten Destiny that he's literally lying to his audience? But that first Destiny debate and everything that followed was part of Hassan's ascent. He might have started with Fortnite, but the politics streams were setting him apart. Even so, he was still working at the Young Turks and even launched a new series in August 2019. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Hassan Piker, the prodigal son. Uh, this is my show called Agitprop, short for Agitated Propaganda. As Hassan's popularity continued to grow, he began to routinely face opposition just for being a political figure. And in August 2019, <laughs> he faced opposition just for being a- Why is his head so small? Wow, holy fuck, Hassan has to be the worst rep for his cause. Hassan is insufferable. Hassan doesn't know anything, haha, -ha, what a loser. Communists don't deserve a space, space on here on earth. Hassan is such a piece of shit. This is, this so-called man is disgusting political figure and in august 2019 he did something that brought him even further criticism america deserved 9 11 dude F it i'm saying it we're there to partner with them we're not there doing our own thing we're there partnering and training in a video and, and game and, and, and i'm i can't do this i can't do this. this guy has the understanding of foreign policy uh, of like a 12 year old what the f what the f is wrong with this dude Did so um, some parts of this, uh, are obviously going to have to be redacted, uh, for obvious reasons. From what I understand, this part was not redacted in the video. So I will do that now. Hold on. Um. I like that my most famous moments are, fuck it, I'm saying it. I like that uh, they, the, my most famous moments from the video are fuck it, I'm saying it, and what a Weasley little liar, dude. What a Weasley little liar, dude. Holy shit, dude. Okay, I'm gonna mute this now. But uh, basically what I'm saying here is that uh, it's disgusting to me that, wait, what? Read what Fizz said? They put the 9-11 at 9-11? Oh my, what? Oh no! Has the understanding of foreign policy uh, of like a twelve-year-old. Okay, well, it's not directly at nine eleven. That's probably a uh, 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 probably coincidence. Okay, <laughs> it's obvious that like the dudes who made this are very thoughtful, though. Like the people who made this know what my content is. It, it's very clear. It's very clear from the jokes that they've made, like calling me a himbo, stuff like that. Like. They are embedded in this community, and I can tell it's not made by, like, some random person. You know what I mean? Yeah, they could have made me look so much worse. Absolutely. There's coincidence in those who understand the force. So what I'm saying in that clip, for those of you who don't know... I'm making a very crude joke, a very rude joke about a war injury of a veteran, a Navy SEALs uh, decorated, celebrated uh, veteran who is now a representative. 
And my anger stems from the fact that he is literally uh, has not learned from the own personal sacrifice that he's made and is still advocating and agitating to send more men and women overseas uh, to not have such fortunate uh, ends as he did. Using that uh, to justify further warfare is disgusting, gross. It doesn't matter what the fuck I said. Anyway, let's keep going. I mean, and that then, is of the course, definition of a leftist getting triggered. And so, yeah, this, this fucking soy boy then turned around and went on every Fox News and cried. Like, every Fox News channel that would have him and cried for the... Triggered, wasn't he? I mean, that is the definition of a leftist getting triggered. so triggered, right? Triggered. And, man, that, that is exactly the outrage culture that we have right now. He is a perfect example of it. Uh, you know, he's trying to walk his comments back now. You know, good on no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. On him for trying to do that. No, I wasn't. That's bullshit. I did not. I did not. There is this notion that I, like, walked back my comment. I, I, I did not, and I have not. It's absolutely things I believe. I'm like... People constantly say, on TYT, you did though. No, I said that, I said that uh, the wording was off. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have worded it differently. But what I'm, what I meant when I said what I said is absolutely still the same thing that I mean. My mentality on this has not changed, okay? It is not. Our actions are directly responsible for 9-11. I still believe it. I uh, think that it's completely fucking... It's completely without a fucking doubt. Uh, it's something that most academics don't even have an issue with. What do you mean? It's ridiculous. I know that I was... I I know that I was inappropriate. I understand that, which is precisely why I took action immediately. As soon as I realized, like, oh, this is going to be misconstrued. I don't want this to be weaponized. I don't want this to be... Uh, I don't want this to offend people. If you watch the entire video, I go, F it, dude, I'm saying it. Yeah. And then I, I'm like, how is anything I'm saying controversial? We literally armed the same groups and, and caused destabilization in the region. <laughs> and then we're shocked when the very same people that we armed gave weapons to, gave training to, turned around and hit us back. Like, how is that in any yeah, way remotely think, controversial? Mm -hmm. Hassan was banned from Twitch for a week as a result of his comments, but he continued to stream after serving the ban. In fact, in January 2020, he decided to cut ties with the Young Turks and fully commit to streaming. And it was maybe the best <laughs> move he'd ever- <laughs> Dude, that's so Young funny. Turks and fully commit- oh, That was my announcement. That was literally my announcement. I'm such a fucking idiot, dude. Why do you guys even follow me? I, I'm so fucking dumb. Like, I was like, yep, that's it. Like, I didn't have like a big video. I didn't do like a fucking LeBron James style decision style video. I was just like, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with TYT. I'm going to fucking Twitch full time. Commit to streaming. <laughs> and it was maybe the best move he'd ever made. Just keep running straight, Poke. No! 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 Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> F you! Baseball is a shit sport! I'm glad it's getting work stoppages! F you! Since Hassan started streaming, the United States had experienced political turmoil, but it really kicked into high gear in an election year. I'm not going to f***ing lose my mind if Donald Trump wins, especially when I've been ringing the alarm bells for months. I will not be happy until Joe Biden is sworn in or whoever the Democrat is, is sworn in. F***ing finished, dude! Oh, three months. Trump? Orange? You orange dictator? You f***ing Cheeto? You're f***ing finished, dude! I wonder if most people know that that's be me being sarcastic and criticizing Nancy Pelosi. Like, I bet most people that watch that probably think like, oh, he's such a lib. As the COVID-19 pandemic kept many indoors, they sought out streaming entertainment in greater numbers. In the span of two years, a political commentator had not only made the move to Twitch, but he'd now become one of the platform's fastest rising stars and he was beginning to rub elbows with some of the most popular names in the gaming space. Yo, check so this out, check this out, come closer. 
Okay, this feels weird. Wait. Now watch me. Oh, dude. Holy, ah, that hurt me. Dude, <laughs> Am I done? Now I can play with Miskip, right? Hello. You don't hey, what's up, John, dude? Discord. What's going on, guys? I, I just want to warn you. I've only played one game so far, and... Like, I I've already gotten scouted by FaZe and 100 Thieves. I'm kind of good. Dude, I'm just <laughs> impressed you know what those two things are. I thought you just knew yeah, Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, I'm a fully grown male, and I always joke my business sound, 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 sitting down. I don't give a fuck. Sure, what? You pee sitting, sitting down? You pee sitting down? Wait, really? That's a wild, <laughs> that's a wild <laughs> thing to do. But more than playing with other huge streamers, the election and the surge in demand for political content gave him opportunities. What? Oh my God, everyone blast this tweet, please. Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's We have to make this happen. We have to make this happen. But that would be incredible. That'd be awesome. And so in October, 2020, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar played among us with some of the biggest names in progressive political content on Twitch and YouTube, and foremost among them was Hassan. You know, big shout out to Hassan because he was uh, just a huge, you know, he helped really wrangle all of this together. Oh no. Oh no, this is terrible. 10 seconds to vote. Okay, I'm gonna vote. Oh God, I'm voting Ilhan, but I don't know. Make sure you vote. Oh no. I think it was Ilhan. The way she was like, where were you? We're about to find out if I threw or not. While AOC's stream, also her first, was the biggest, it was a huge cross-pollination that undoubtedly helped new followers find Hassan. And then, on election night, Hassan had his biggest stream ever. A peak of 230,000 viewers watched him as he sorted through the election results. I'd be yelling about all this shit regardless of whether or not you guys were in here or not. I would be just yelling into a dark room. Be yelling it at 35 people. If no one else was watching. But, um, you know, I just wanted to express my gratitude. And I know things look tough right now. But, um... We still got each other. It was a far cry from his first stream. Where just a handful of viewers watched him play Fortnite. But since then, Hassan has grown to become the most sub to streamer on the platform. And he's been using that position for good, joining another AOC stream that also featured Canadian Member of Parliament Jugmeet Singh, which raised $200,000 to fight housing and food insecurity. I no, feel go, bad. Go, go myth on this one. Oh, I don't think it's him, though. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. <laughs> yeah. That's a great oh, joke. That's and the there's the punchline. Not wrong. I can't, believe they just, I, just, I can't believe they just yeeted him. Oh my God, Jugmeat is too good. Whether you agree with his political opinions or not, Hassan has shown that there's an appetite for more on Twitch. And he rode that wave to the very top of the platform. Oh, look at me. I'm from Denmark. We have free hospitalization and Corona checks at every hospital. F you, huh? F you, man. I'm fucking dying out here trying to get Medicare for all passed. God damn it, dude. With more potential political uncertainty ahead, it's likely that Twitch will have to carefully <laughs> grapple with an even bigger influx of streamers trying to make it the Hassan way offering contentious opinions on more than just what they even found the fucking oh, trying was, to make it the this was a that is my fucking teacher dude they even put this in there that's crazy Hassan way offering contentious opinions on more than just the latest trending games obama's talking about changing systemic policy issues except saying that accountability is worthless did i just say accountability mother i just criticized obama's specific policy issue and gave you actual policy ideas that would be easy to fucking implement, you fucking dog shit neoliberal bitch. And as for Hassan's opponents, 
Well, until a challenger emerges, they're just gonna have to learn to live with him. Um, well, I'm a political commentator, so I normally talk about politics, but sometimes I have a uh, variety of incels that come into the stream, so I give them advice every now and then that you guys can give them as well, like girl advice. You're an incel. I'm an incel myself, so. <laughs> and then Thanks I for watching. If you want. And then I did become that. So. The Prodigy Choker Aim God, how Tenzi found life in Valorant. The GameStop employee who became the queen of YouTube, the story of Val Valkyrie. Wow. So, so that, folks, this right here, stop saying stolen incel, stolen incel Valor. Here, first of all, let's just, uh, wait, fuck, I want just the, the video, though, and this is going to copy, like, the entire playlist. Um, hold on. First of all, I'm of course going to blast this uh, because we got to get those numbers up. Okay, we got to get these fucking numbers up, dude. Look at that. Only 70,000 views. And there are hella fucking... There's 1,000 dislikes on this, totally dude. Found you thanks What's to the going on? When like, thank you for all when, like you Pokemon or, or, or whenever like another streamer gets uh, this kind of recognition from the eScore, everybody watches it. But what's up? No, no recognition for, for the Istanbul's not the capital of Turkey. Anger is the capital of Turkey. He's the biggest streamer on Twitch who hasn't beaten the nameless King Sag. I love Hassan, but I wish he would avoid controversial topics like Among Us in Fall Guys. His name is Hassan. I love that his Danish accent sounded Swedish. You know, it's good to have these serious people in life, but don't go as far as changing yourself to be like them. Stay yourselves. Not because they got famous that it works. Stay safe. Uh, didn't even know Hassan was blown up on Twitch. I just don't spend enough time watching streams. Hassan podcast when cross pollination Garnt approves. Nine eleven, dude. Wow, some recognition. What? <laughs> uh, I used to watch Hassan's old videos, but I never checked out a true stream. I may give it a look. He seems a lot more self aware than most political commentators, which is very refreshing to see in this space. Baby's first left is Hassan is an actual pseudo intellectual smooth brain. He just has a punchable. He just has such a punchable face. True lol. Uh -huh. I've noticed sometimes he says things that just don't make sense. Oh, that's great. Not nah, talking sense. Seems like Epoch Times advertise on anything Hassan related. I literally only get their ads on Hassan related videos. That's so weird. I just follow the guy because he's good looking. Thanks for the content. I only started watching Hassan clips after the one with all the e-girls thirsting over him. That's hilarious. Okay, these are mostly happy comments. So where are the 1,000 dislikes? Like, how do I find the controversial ones, you know? Everyone's talking about Nameless King. I only started watching your stream when you were on Raj and I thought this guy was hot. On this one, he's only on Twitch because he's a Democrat, right? Republicans get booted out because of political correctness. Yeah. How has fame changed your dating life? Well, considering the fact that I've been like, I've had moderate e-fame, perhaps even more normie recognition back in like 2016, I don't know. Uh, it, it's been a while. But uh, the other side of the equation is uh, that um, I know that Twitch has changed my dating life. I left a controversial comment for you. A big stream for a small head. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I will. I will let you know how the story of XQC. I've seen it already. I've watched the story of XQC before. It's pretty good. It's pretty well done. Um, the story of the man who speaks ten percent English, ninety percent angry gibberish. Yee. 
He's literally an Xbox Live kid. <laughs> um, so, so uh, as I was saying, as I was saying, I know how Twitch has changed my dating life. Twitch has basically turned my dating life into a non-existent thing. It's no longer, wait, Fizz, can you put the, can you put the video link again? Or wait, I have it here probably. Hold on. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, I'll tweet it out as well. This is a very thoughtful and well done video on my past couple of years on Twitch. Um, by Eastor. By the Wait, what are their fucking Twitter? Oh, I say e score. It's fucking the score. Fuck. The score esports. Thank you for the recognition. Here's to many more years on platform where I will inevitably defeat the nameless king. There it is. When I saw shit talking political bro, I was like, when I, when I saw a uh, shit talking political bro, I was like, oh no, like this is going to be terrible. I, I, I honestly thought like they are going to make me look terrible, but I was wrong. Did you watch UFC 256? No, I don't know what that is, man. I, I am in awe at how much I can't stop thinking about the fact that like people just literally hate video games in my audience, man.